Hello everyone, in this video we'll be learning about the rotate and swap operations that are used in any microcontroller or any programming language or how the assembly code works. So, the first thing we're going to look at is rotate. Now there are two kinds of rotating operations. One is the rotate right operation and the other is the rotate left operation. As the name itself indicates, a rotate left operation is used to shift the individual bits in a byte to the left and a rotate right operation is used to shift the individual bits in a byte to the right. So this can be explained further in this manner the rotate left operation. For example, I am using the rotate left operation on a register A which has which is one byte of data that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, wait, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. That's it. So this is my register A, which has 8 bits, and now I'm using the rotate left operation, which means each bit in this register A is shifted to the left. The bit in 0 goes to 1, the bit in 1 goes to 2, the bit in 2 goes to 3, and so on. And the bit that is stored in, and the data that is stored in the seventh bit is transferred to zero. So this is how the rotate left operation works. When you're using the rotate left operation, you can use the simple RLA or you could also use it with a carry. When you are using a carry flag or a carry bit, you have an additional let me make that yeah you have an additional bit here which is your carry flag so when you're using this the transfer goes like this 0 to 1 1 to 0 so on so on so on the the data in 7 goes to the carry flag and that that is stored in the carry flag goes to zero. So whatever is stored in seven goes in, into the carry flag and whatever has been there in the carry flag goes into the zeroth bit. So this is how a rotate left operation works with a carry flag RLCA. So now let's look at the rotate right operation. I think now you must have made doubt how the rotate right operation works. It works in an absolutely similar manner with a change in the direction, of course. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. There we go. So, as the name itself suggests, as we have seen earlier, 7 goes to 6, 6 goes to 5, and so on. And the bit and the data that is stored in the 0th bit goes into the seventh bit. Yes, you're right. So now, this is how the rotate right operation works. What if we use a carry flag? The carry flag is used... Let me... Yeah. yeah. So the carry flag is used here when you're using the rotate right operation. So the data in zero goes to the carry flag and the data in the carry flag bit goes into 7. So this is how the rotate right operation with the carry flag works. Let us see some examples. Before that, I would like to tell you how the swap operation works. Now, the first question I'm going to give you is what do you do when 
you know, you're watching TV and suddenly you want to switch between channels. You probably have the swap option on your TV remote. In the same way, in every byte, we ha just like one, two, uh, say, um, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. So this is my register A. When I'm doing a function, when I'm using the command swap A, before that, let me tell you this. This is called the higher nibble or the high nibble. A nibble is 4 bits and a byte is 2 nibbles. So this is the higher nibble or the high nibble and this is the low nibble. So when I'm saying swap, the high nibble becomes the low nibble and the low nibble becomes the high nibble. I don't know if you really understood this, but it's really simple. All the bytes in this are transferred here, and all the bytes here are transferred here in the same order. So now let's look at some examples, which I'm sure will set all things right for you. For example, I have the data in A as the binary number one zero one zero um zero say something say anything you want one zero one uh, is is this good it, it is good is it okay so now i'm doing a operation that is r r a okay now what do i get all these digits shift one space to the right and the last one shifts here so I get one one zero one zero zero one zero that's it that is R R of A and now if I do um, rotate left of A I get the reverse I get so this bit goes here and one zero one zero zero one zero one. That's it. So this is the rotate left and rotate right operations. For example, I have a carry flag and the number that is stored in the carry flag is zero. And the number that is stored in the carry flag can be anything, it can be zero or one. So if it is zero you know what happens if I do a R L C of A which is a left shift then the seventh bit goes into the carry flag and the bit that is stored in the carry flag goes into the last place so this is how it's gonna be the number say this is what is stored in my register right now and I am performing the RLC of A on this. So what I'm gonna get is this one is going to be stored in the carry flag. So C is going to become one and the zero in the carry flag is going here. So zero and then one zero one zero zero one zero. So this is going to be my register A after I do the RLC on the register A. So one, two, three, four bits, one, two, three, four bits. So now, so now let's look uh, and I think you can make out how to, how the RL, uh, how the RRC of A works. Now, um, say, let me do this. Mm. Yeah. So now let us see how the swap operation works. I have the register A right now, which is uh, here. And I'm going to perform the swap operation on it and interchange the low and the high nibbles of it. So this is my register. And these, 
this is the high nibble and this is the low nibble. When I perform a swap operation on a register, say I say swap A, then the one zero one zero one zero one zero is going to become the high nibble and zero one zero 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 one zero zero is going to become the low nibble. So this is what is going to be A after I perform the swap operation. So I think uh, you're now clear with how the uh, how the different operations of rotation and swapping take place. We have rotate and swap. In rotate we uh, we have seen rotate left and rotate right and we have also seen rotate left with carry and rotate right with carry and finally we have seen the swap operation so this is how the rotate and swap operations work in a microcontroller language um, I have taken the 805 and microcontroller as the base uh, hope you found this video helpful and informative if you have an exam tomorrow all the very very best thank you and have a lovely day